Hey everyone, we're playing City Skylines today. Um, we're gonna start out with a brand new city and kind of see where it takes us. So, all right, so biggest thing to start is picking the map. So let's figure out what kind of map we even want here. I mean, we could honestly just go with a random map. Can you, can you turn, can you just get a random map? Is that a thing? I'm just gonna scroll up and down, close my eyes and we're gonna pick one, all right? Do, 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 do. Right there. All right, it's gonna be Frozen Shire. It's got some ore, it's got some farming, it's got a lot of forestry, and it's got some water on there. Okay, sounds good. I don't really wanna call it Springdale. Let's look up some, some city names. Port Coos Pass, I like that. Port Coos Pass, perfect. Left-hand traffic, I have no clue. You know, it didn't look like it was a really buildable city, but I think there's a bunch of trees. I think that's the biggest thing we have to start with. We have to make a lumber mill and and kind of grow from the lumber mill. All right, well, hello there. Okay, so this is the map that we're on now. And oh my gosh. Okay, it's really, really, really pretty. High residential. Okay, we need to build a road first, I guess. Oh my. It's like a big old train station right over there. Alright, so what we want to start out with is we want to get a factory in here. We need a population of 440. Probably going to need more residential. Perfect. In a snowy biome. I don't I've never played it actually in a snowy biome. So this will be kind of new for me. Okay, so it looks like we need more jobs. We're just going to pop them right there just for now though. Oh, we have a snow dump. That looks good. I think we have, in oh, we don't yet. How much to get this? 1,300 now. A population of 1,300. Little bit more difficult to get, so. All right, we can increase it, and we can get we can get that lum the lumber mill now. All right, cool. We can buy a new slice. I want to do this one just because I want to expand out to this highway system. Because I wanna. Well, we gotta figure out where we can put this. Oh, we can't get it yet. Let's hop these roads across now. All right, cool. So first stage of building a city, pretty much, you need to pop up your residential, like just start putting streets down and start getting as much residential down because that's the only way you're going to start making money. In the early stages, if you put down like, I don't know, like a police station and a fire station and healthcare, it's like, yeah, that's good, but you're just going to be losing a bunch of money. Oh no, and now we don't have a dump. You just have to buy, just get the stuff when they need it, and that's it. Because we're going to need, oh my gosh, we're out of water again. Oh, because it doesn't have any power. Oh no! Oh, tiny town though. Okay, cool. Alright, we are all good now. We're going to make this lumber mill massive. Absolutely massive. 
but it has to come in time because it's gonna cost us twenty twenty thousand dollars for the main building pretty much we're just saving up the money now twenty grand to get our forestry business underway Okay, we can start now by putting down our forestry industry. And it's got, well, it will have direct access to the highway. Let's, we can do that right now, actually, while we're just waiting for money to kind of, oh, we don't have enough. Barely making money currently, by the way. So we're just gonna turn this area over here to just straight residential. Okay, wait, can I take out a loan? Take. Okay, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, we got the money now. We've got the money now. So I just took out a loan pretty much. And I'm hoping when I put another power plant down, oh, that we will be good. And now we're gaining money again. Cool. All right, perfect. So our town's at 2,700 people now. Every single road is iced over. We do not have any schools. Oh, we're at 40 grand now? Can we get highway highway entrances now? Yes, we can. All right, cool. So, I'm thinking this one honestly turns into a highway that goes all the way across. All right, so now we have two exits, exits and on-ramps right there. Main Street will bring you down into this neighborhood, and we'll have a little park at the end. Oh, that park's going to be so nice at the end. And then this middle island, I have no clue what we're going to do with yet. This could be our major city, city right here, actually, because we'll have a farm right here, and then this is our mega city. Like, this is where the city's located. And then down here is more Richie, Richie. There we are looking good now. Extend it out just a little bit farther. And then let's get these roads going out again. The city has extended quite large actually I didn't think it was gonna be this large but what can I purchase right now so I could purchase going out to the island let's purchase that for six grand because we're gonna start working on all of this out here yeah that's not gonna work we're gonna have to spend a bunch of money to flatten this area down let's spend the 50,000 over here real quick boom got it up a hundred and eighty one we're still losing money though sadly but that's fine because a lot more people can work here now we need a higher educated workforce though okay so recap of what I'm thinking so I started leveling out this middle area because like I said I think this is gonna be more than enough space for our downtown area and then we're gonna keep on growing the lumber mill out as large as we can to try to get rid of all of this and put in residential. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you give it a like and subscribe. Thank you.